morning, people. Or good afternoon, I should say. Welcome back to Half Fast 719. It's about 90 degrees out here. Just got back this morning at 1.30 this morning. Um, yeah. Anyway, hit a lot of... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, construction on the way home. Probably about an hour of delay total for all the construction spots. Um, so I'm home. I'm going to be home for eight days this time because I'm taking uh, two days off. So I'm uh, supposed to go back to work Monday, head up there, but I'm going to go back to work on Wednesday, head up there, start Thursday. Um, anyway, for this, uh, this half off, these days off, got a couple little things I'm trying to get done, looking around, eyeballs going crazy like a tweaker. Um, no offense if you're a tweaker. Um, I got this project. I don't know if I'm going to do or finish or what I'm going to do with this. But I'm basically trying to build not like a butcher block, but a top for the toolbox. So I got all these 1x4s. Or 7 1x4s. Biscuit joining them and gluing them. I tried doing it. I have to do it in the garage and I have to do it in the morning or in the evening. I glued this one. And... I think the glue was drying before I could get it clamped. That project, I have, I got this uh, project crack pipe deal, U-joint. I can't find a U-joint for it. I'm going to have to figure this out. I'll have to figure that out. Find a U-joint for it. And, uh, <sighs> yeah, go from there. I think O'Reilly is probably the best option for this U-joint because you can select the sizes that you need, the sizes for the cups. The length, cups, clips, you can uh, select all that junk. So, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to check O'Reilly. Try to get one, bring this one back to good old AutoZone. So I have that project. I have that wood project for the tabletop because, as you can see, I got this space here for the handle and this space here for the handle that's unusable top I probably could just get and I probably actually should have just done a piece of plywood and uh, did a piece of plywood but I ended up doing that I think this probably even cost more should have just got a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood and called it good these here um, one for the Audi these are stall bus I believe they're called stall bus I don't know uh, 14 by 1.5, 14 millimeters thread size by 1.5 pitch. So this will be for the Audi. Um, uh, I have, like I said in a couple videos before, I have this one. This is a Fumoto made in Japan. These ones are okay. However, I don't like that this lever, if... If you pick up something, you know, it's under the truck. So this is for my Dodge, for the old 99 Dodge. It won't work on the newer ones. Um, but I have a f bad feeling that if you pick up something or something happens, um, this thing can be bent or twisted or something could kick up and somehow open this valve or maybe somebody walking by if they look at it and they're haters they can open it so I wasn't gonna go with that one the Fumoto type so I went with the stall bus this is gonna be for the Audi um, it's a really cool little thing made in made in the Deutschland Germany um, but yeah it comes with a little copper washer this one's a little bent but uh, Whatever this one is, what it is. Um, has a little cap. O-ring where the cap goes. I'll do more when I install them. Um, I'm going to try to do a uh, vacuum. Put a vacuum on the truck. This one's for the truck. So, uh, this one is the truck here. M18 by 1.5. This is for the Audi. M14 by 1.5 and uh, what I ended up doing is 
I can't remember which one. I think this one here, this one just came with this and this, the cap and the drain plug. And then this one came with the cap, the plug, and the hose and the adapter. And, uh, yeah, because I figure if the, if the adapter fits all of them, I believe. So it fits that one. And then uh, it'll fit this one as well, obviously. Me uh, one hand it try. So as you can see, fits in there. Basically, how it works is you push this in there. Let me set this down real quick. Basically, you just find its little spot. You'll see that it'll it'll click into its little spot right there. You push it in and you twist it. So, twist it, pop it out, find its spot again. So, you could hear. And then, when it's not in, nothing. So, we'll see how these work. Um, wanted to get one of these a long time ago. And, uh... Yeah, I ended up breaking down and buying it because a guy at work asked. He's like, hey, isn't there something that they can do? He was asking about putting, like, uh, some type of plumbing valve on his car. He's got a Toyota Camry. He's like, can't I just get a plumbing valve and stick it in there and basically like a spigot? And I was like, uh, they sell stuff. So I looked him up for him, got him all hooked up. He ended up ordering... Uh, one of these for his Honda Pilot and then uh, his Camry and his Toyota are M12 by 125 I believe so he ordered two of those because he's got a Tacoma and a Camry and a Honda Pilot so um, and these are I don't think I'm gonna use them but those are the hub centric rings for uh, the Audi Q7 to Mercedes G500 wheels, which I probably won't use. I'll probably just save them for when I do a tire rotation or whatever. And then uh, I have to redo the swamp cooler thing. So, got some projects ahead of me. And, uh, yeah, I can't remember. I don't know if Chad... Chad Myers 73 if he uh, bought some of these somebody reminded me of them I was watching a video and then uh, a couple guys at work they reminded me and I was like oh yeah I was gonna buy some so anyway gotta do laundry um, gonna do that those things and uh, I'm gonna try to do a vacuum pole on the crankcase and change them Put them in and then I'll show you how they work so this way I don't have to drain the oil, put it in and wait uh, 5,000 miles before I change the oil to show you guys how they work. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on video. I'm going to pull a vacuum on the engine and uh, pull the drain plug. Stick one of those in hopefully without dripping any oil. So stay tuned for all those videos guys. It's a lot. A lot happening this these days off um, and uh, maybe I'll get around to color matching my uh, re uh, mirrors and door handles on the fourth gen so and then also got project crack pipe gotta do some stuff to it um, like I said if I can get that u-joint if I can get that U-joint and get that drive shaft installed, I might take it for a little drive, just somewhere, I don't know. But alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming up throughout the week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Got some new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, however, YouTube, Google, and YouTube Studios are not telling me who's subscribing. Um, it's just telling me that I got more subscribers. And I don't know who they are. But anyway. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Comment. Let me know what you guys uh, want to see. What you guys think. 
Alright guys, later.